What's up guys and welcome to this let's play of Prince of Persia. Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to play this game. Mm. And I hope you enjoy it. In the Sultan's absence, the Grand Vizier Jafar rules with the iron fist of tyranny. Only one obstacle remains between Jafar and the throne, the Sultan's beautiful young daughter. Marry Jafar, or die within the hour. All the princess hopes now rest on the brave youth she loves. Little does she know that he is already a prisoner in Jafar's dungeons. So hello everyone, uh, nice day out, right? It's uh, gray today here. Seems uh, any free day is just another excuse to make a let's play. This is really all we do, right? In in ordinary life, we uh, we eat, we drink, and we uh, play games. Yeah. But yeah, playing games is actually not best way to uh, entertain yourself. Personally, I, I like music, you know, I like listening to music, I like making music. And this is how easy life can be, right? You can just uh, listen to music all day long, or make music all day, you know. I mean, m music is a safe spot. In the chaos of life. But that's all uh, just boring shit. You know, I uh, see that the uh, the chaos of the world was indeed a uh, dangerous and an intimidating affair that goes on forever and that never stops. You 
know, and I don't even want to uh, think about it, you know. I don't want to think about anything. And that's also why I play games. I just want to zone out. Go and get in the flow or something, yeah. As I say, I, I play poker as well. Not not for real money, but just on Zynga, you know, the world's biggest poker game. And that's uh, the analysis of my life in a nutshell, you know. And there's a lot of analytical truths that we have to think. This is something you can do as well. You can read. You can read books, you know. I could read Immanuel Kant. I could try to read Immanuel Kant again, you know. I, I never really get into that book, you know. It's too uh, boring again. I guess everything is so boring. Even this game is kind of boring, actually. I don't know. Tomorrow I have a whole day to spend in whatever way I want to. Maybe I can just take my bicycle somewhere. You know, it's a very childish dream to want to have an adventure, you know, but, uh, when I get on my bicycle, I, I intend, I'm intent upon an adventure, an adventure, yeah. But that's all just ludicrous and and inane dreaming of a mediocre intellect that can't even speak French. I mean, come on, I can't even speak French. I know a guy who can speak French and he knows almost everything. I uh, met him when I was in Taiwan. I was in Taiwan. But I was there on a uh, I was there on a study uh, a study exchange program for my ed university and that's uh, really sad in a way you know, exchange programs are Recipes for disaster, I suppose. Just like existence, you know, we uh, we see that the uh, limits of my world are always completely confronted by scary demons that just can't help but overpower our senses with their lies and their uh, scheming, you know. And, uh, yeah, what can we do, right? What can we do to properly engage with the world, you know? I mean, when I worked for the call center, I worked for a call center, and when I worked for this call center, I uh, I read a, a document by the World Health Organization, and maybe this is something that I should do more. I should take my health more seriously. You know, people do mindfulness, people do meditation, people do yoga. You know, and maybe uh, I should do those things as well, but I'm just, I have too much anxiety, you know, 
you know, words. This is something that a poet once said, a Dutch poet, so you shouldn't take too much stock in his uh, sayings, but I mean, he's from the Netherlands after all. Nothing, nothing good comes from the Netherlands, you know, even the scriptures say so. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't even mention the Netherlands. It's a an invisible place in an invisible world. Anyway, he said, I can only live in my poems. That's something he said. Maybe I should write more poetry, you know. I mean, I too have a feeling that I can only live in words. But I don't, I don't like poetry, you know. I, uh, I think, or if, even if I did, I would like very simple poetry, you know, and that nice homespun meaningless poetry that just sings the praises of ordinary life but we're getting there right we talked about Kant we talked about the World Health Organization now we only have to talk about Kofi Annan everything is fine you know? I mean what do you know about Kofi Annan you know, he was uh, he was an official, a, bureau, a bureaucrat, who worked for uh, the United Nations. You know. And what are the United Nations? You know what the United Nations are. And these are the uh, the big things of our world. You know. America has become uh, a kind of inhuman animal that just does nothing else but think, you know. I mean, look at Harvard, look at, uh, I don't know, what am I saying? What am I saying? I'm so, I'm so, uh, I don't know, I should just be quiet for a while, but I don't know, I, I don't feel like, I don't feel powerful when I'm quiet, you know. But I really like the word quiet, you know, I, I like words in general. I used to really like the word leisure until I realized that it can't really be tied to, uh, Relaxing, you know, can't really be tied to uh, releasing, you know. So uh, that kind of ended my enthusiasm for this word. I still wonder, though, if if there was something to it. But I take etymology seriously, you know. I, uh, I take the problem of etymology seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry, I w was that funny? Uh, probably only to me. But my father, my father, uh, he could laugh about these things and he had a good sense of humor. You know, that's, that's the only good thing that I can say about my father, I guess. But everybody liked my father, so... Plenty of good stuff being said about him. I don't need to be the the guardian of my father's reputation. My father's legacy. You know, they asked uh, George Lucas what he thought his legacy would be. He said something like, the education of children will be my legacy. 
you know. Now that's amazing. I mean, is Star Wars a children's movie? I suppose it is. Oh my god. Mm. I shall not take that name in vain. <laughs> oh my god, don't laugh at that, I guess. You know, the Bible says, uh, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God, you know. In his heart, you know. Uh, I wonder, I wonder if, if I'm, I often feel like I'm, I, I am a fool, you know. I am a fool, but our conversation is going well, you know. I don't feel like I'm multiplying words so much. I mean, Gee, I'm struggling to even finish a sentence here. But that's always how it goes, isn't it? The horrors of normal existence cannot ever make us cower in fear for the coming of a new order. I, uh, I suppose the uh, the uh, essence of livelihoods are obscured by some entity that is so abstract and so divisive that the uh, phantasmagoria of the female world are hidden from sight and and recreated to make the best of of idiosyncratic things that we need to uh, ascertain before we can even begin to uh, fathom the immense richness of the uh, psychological world I mean I mean nothing nothing really matters love is all we need you know we uh, we got to uh, view the, the profundity of uh, realistic encounters with a an eye of, of of simplicity and of virtue and there is really not any way forward for the uh, attenuators of justice peruse the infinite libraries of happy existence that can never go back to the the great beginning of it all where we where we were still ignorant and where we didn't know what the entire world was meant to become and what we wanted to be infinite world to be, you know, we, we never ascertained the newness of a more varied and more benign multiplicity that today holds the secrets 
of an entire array of wealthy people that that only uh, think about the uh, grand the grand total of things you know that's what I'm saying the the uh, the dark multiplicity of of foolish endeavors is is nothing you know it just it doesn't exist we uh, we say to ourselves that we are uh, involved in these in these strange new dimensions to life but we really don't understand uh, a yada of the of the growing power of the dark and crazy uh, multifarious uh, to new amounts of a of a mad constellation of crazy things that we have to comprehend in order to be considered normal or orderly and hey maybe that is uh, good or maybe that's bad I I can't I can't know anymore the uh, as I said the the day is is a joy you know and in that sense we are all just followers of the same code the um, merriment of happy power is the felicity of 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 new life and new characterizations in a nutshell even though we uh, we do not know exactly what the world is coming to you know the uh, the vast world is, is just a, a copy of, of the uh, uh, myriad ways in which a single person can make a difference in this modern world, which is uh, a shame for people who want to coordinate a, a greater and more successful uh, lackluster uh, entirety that might may or may not be the new beginning of a of a of a mightier lifestyle or or uh, or uh, I was hoping we could get through that gate back and push the button that's just the way it is anyway as I was saying uh, this is this more coherent lifestyle or or uh, aesthetic that that we want to uh, to see and and to experience in daily life you know it's all about flow you know this great thing that we cannot ever discover without ordinary means of, of 
of life and uh, and of, of uh, freedom, you know. It's a uh, it's a joke, you know. But it's a joke that holds an answer, you know. I, uh, I'm pretty sure that you don't need to be, uh, idiots or, or strange gentlemen, you know, you can just realize this fundamental joke and then something will happen. It's it's good, you know. I uh, think it's good. We can uh, think about all that. I mean, I like it. I like philosophy. I am a philosopher. Uh, the thing is, I I often have ideas, you know, and the ideas interfere with the flow of my discourse, you know. Ideas are like icebergs. That's my affinity to uh, Jack Kerouac, you know. I guess. I mean, I mean, the uh, the entirety of of psychological manifestations in the uh, endeavors of the everyday mind are somehow uh, obscured from view by. Uh, the forests and and uh, hiding places of of you know the the assholes you know we see that in many ways most ordinary people are assholes i'm an asshole you know but i'm also uh struggling to define my own virtue you know, I mean, this is what the Oracle Delphi said to the people, you know. It's like, he said, know thyself, you know. So, uh, yeah, there was a time, I don't know, there was a part of me, a part of everyone, I suppose, that that is altogether evil, you know. But there is another part to uh, humanity, you know, that is natural and therefore good, you know. I mean, generally, our our moral, our ethical spectrum is divided between uh, natural and uh, lovely, you know, and, uh, when we say, like, you're natural, you know, we're saying something really strong, and when you're saying, like, you're lovely, you're saying something really sweet, you know, and, uh, this, these are, this is both from two movies that I really like, uh, your natural, or he's a natural, is from uh, uh, the amazing, the fantastic Mr. Fox, which is a movie by Wes Anderson. It's a really good movie, and uh, your lovely comes from Four Weddings and a Funeral, which is the 
quintessential movie on Britishness, in my opinion. It has Hugh Grant in the role of his life, you know. I mean, Hugh Grant is... Uh, is a... Uh, like, is a person, you know, that has nothing to do with my nativity, you know. I was born... And I was made into a person, you know. But I was saved by Jesus Christ, right? That's that's the the shamanistic formula that I hand to you now. I mean, I want to make a living, you know, just like Kierkegaard, you know. I mean, I feel more. Uh, relation to Kierkegaard than to uh, relatedness, I should say. Uh, I feel more relatedness to Kierkegaard than to uh, Hugh Grant, you know. But Hugh Grant you know, he's uh, a wonderful actor in many ways. And you wonder, like, why does he know how to be an Englishman on screen when he's an Englishman in real life? Well, why doesn't he go crazy? Uh, Etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. These are all uh, damn. He put on a good fight before we were able to best him, uh, but we got him. Yeah. Oh, man. This is what I'm saying. There's, there is a world out there that demand spiritual uh, life from us and we are all just insipid uh, non-entities that live in the uh, shadow of a of a vast and and extraordinary uh horror that that demands our uh, fealty and our our graciousness you know we have to adapt and be polite and all that shit uh, in a world that is unforgiving you know and that and that creates fake identities for us to put on like masks and uh, to uh, install against, to put in array against the, uh, the unfair uh, magnanimities of of a uh, crazy life, you know. Which makes us uh, fear the reaper, right? We are... We are... Uh, terribly uh, obstinate in our fight against against relativity and and against individuation right and this is this is the uh, the vast struggle of our 
of our uh, wretched existence, you know, we're all just uh, uh, timid little creatures that that uh, hope that we are not noticed by that almighty eye that sees everything and that tries to uh, control us at every turn. And that's all uh, 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 sublimity on the on the course of of actual events that must be comprehended in order to be put in, uh, in the same line as as. Uh, condescension and uh, ephemerality, right? The the uh, segmentization of segmentation. I'm sorry of callous resistance against against the the maniacal psychoses of uh, extraordinary life cannot be reduced to mere elements, right? They, they are uh, actual things that we know, right? And that we are conscious of. And as our consciousness slips into the unconscious, right, we become uh, entirely subservient to uh, the maniacal, oh, maniacal deficiencies of of of. Uh, The uh, entire majority that that needs a uh, a phantasm of the extraordinary room that wishes us to to be analytical creatures of a second order. We are all just. Uh, uh, inhabitors of the structure that wants uh, a resolution for the for the common man, right? But there is no communication here. There is no community here, and there's no communion here, and so the. Uh, The, the scatterbrained automaticities of, uh, of the uh, greater share of our everyday majorities are uh, undermined and, and disintegrated by the uh, the analyticity of the antinomy even of of uh, the a priori uh, uh, commune commune Union that uh, makes uh, makes a uh, uh, resolute uh, bid for our, uh, necessary. 
operations. So uh, we cannot we cannot continue to live in this 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 depraved, uh, debauched state in which we do whatever we want. Right? We have to uh, sustain the fight against crazy superstitions and and. Uh, weak-minded uh, uh, operations that are nevertheless uh, surrounded in our minds by averse technical uh, dualities that make no sense on their own, but that uh, devolve, devolve into uh, multiplicities that, that destroy our uh, eventual hope for, for forgiveness and for uh, salvation, you know, so we continue to, to manifest ourselves in this growing fight uh, to to understand ourselves and to and to individuate as persons. And that's uh, and that's nice, you know, as long as as you uh, enjoy life, but there really ought to be a sentence, sen, sent, sentiments, and uh, I don't know if we we can really find any coherent sentiment. You know, there is a uh, always freedom. You know, but there is never any uh, any chill uh, fin finitude to uh, uh, there's no there's no chill finishing to the to the. Uh, The germane affinity of uh, us and them, you know, of, of who and why, you know. Am I a am I a, a freak, you know? <laughs> you know, or is this just a A joke, you know. I don't know. Maybe it is a joke, and and I don't want to be a, a joker, you know. I just want to be uh, myself, you know. And I suppose I'm fine with being a Dutchman, you know. But then why do I speak in English, you know? But this is because English is the universal language. Uh, Dutch people do not. Uh, pride themselves on having their own language, you know, and the Dutch language isn't even that carefully monitored, you know. But there was a time when I would speak Dutch on occasion, you know. And uh, I like that, you know. I like I like speaking Dutch. Uh, it's a it's a great language. You know, mostly because it is related to Afrikaans, which is a, a, an amazing language. Whew, we got him. Uh, 
Yeah, he is the toughest oh, opponent in the game. But uh, he's, he's less uh, uh, tough than the fat guy. I mean, the fat guy is the toughest one. Yeah. I don't know, is that true? The real reason I I speak uh, English is because my English is better than my Dutch, I think. The tyrant Jafar lies dead, his power shattered. Throughout the land, the people of Persia hail a princess and the brave youth who saved her from the forces of darkness. No longer a stranger, he shall from this day forth be known as Prince of Persia. All right, we got a new high score. That's amazing. But it's not a very uh, impressive one. All right, so that was all for his Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any uh, comments based on what I said, you can leave a comment in the comment section. And if you uh, like this video, you can like it by clicking the like button. And you can even subscribe to the channel. I don't, I don't know if uh, I'm gonna upload any more. Well, I might, right? who knows. Anyway, yeah, the, the uh, crazinesses of the uh, psychological anti antinomy uh, of of uh, something that we saw in our newest video uh, was all very good and I uh, I think I have to say like uh, the the essence of it helps. Anyway, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.